Hello, my name is Donna Bright. I'm a lifetime ADS member. I've been an active competitor in both combined driving and pleasure driving and active on many ADS committees. My assistants today are Cubby Hull Wren, who is a 13-year-old Welsh Connemara Cross, and Abby Trexler, who is our ADS Executive Director. We're starting this series of educational videos by showing how to put Marathon Harness on safely and efficiently. With the development of better quality synthetic harness, most people are using this as their choice for their first harness or the harness they use every day. You need to have a safe and efficient method of putting harness on your horse so that you're not wasting your time and have more time to spend driving. Your harness needs to fit and be adjusted properly so that your horse can do his job comfortably when he's working so that whatever driving sport you pick, he can be a secure partner. So usually we start by securing the horse, whether you tie him in a stall put him on cross ties, or have an assistant such as Abby to hold them. I prefer to start harnessing from front to back. So I'm gonna take her breastplate, slip this over her head, and cross the traces across her back so that they don't fall on the ground. Then I'm going to take my saddle place that on her back. The bridging is attached. And I'll fasten the girth loosely just to make sure it all stays in place. If you take your traces and slide them through the back strap, you can use this runner to hold them in place. The next thing I would do is gently smooth her tail put the crupper around it, and as you can see, she's not fussed about me playing with her tail or attaching this crupper. This harness has the false martingale attached to the girth, so I'm gonna buckle it to the breastplate now. Some harnesses might have this part loose, and that needs to be attached as you do the girth up. Next thing we need are the reins. You want to try to keep those organized so you're not dropping them on the floor. Put them through the tarot. This tarot. Through here. Fold it back on itself and through the keeper. And then your loose part can either be folded or put through this turret so that it doesn't dangle on the floor. Or you can take them and do what's called a footman's loop where you put a loop under the back strap, another loop through that, Another loop through that, and that keeps the reins up and tidy. But if you need to grab them quickly, taking this end will pull everything loose. So now I'm doing my other rein through the tarot and securing it. Okay, next, got our bridle. And before I put this on, I just want to show you this is the gullet strap and I have my throat latch looped back to keep the gullet strap from being lost in the tack room. But I'll need to unhook that to put this on. Okay. And again, keeping her secure. Ponies are nice because you don't have to reach up really high. Right on, over the ears. 
tidy up the forelock. And then I've got my throat latch with the gullet strap. Buckle that. And then we catch this other end through the nose band. And the next thing, if you use a curb chain, is to take your curb chain, make sure it's flat, hook it up, secure the loose links, and then I'll take the reins and attach them to the bit. Take the other rein. Attach that, and I'll get my lead rope back from my assistant. That can get buckled to the gullet strap. So now if you just do a last minute check to make sure everything's attached where it should be and you have all your pieces, the horse is now ready to be brought to the carriage. So here comes Abby with Wren, and she's going to bring her, turn her around in front of it. Just back her up a tiny bit so that she's within range. Okay, there you go. Okay, you start by taking your first shaft and attaching your quick release tug, which is a relatively new safety development. If you need to get the horse out of the carriage quickly for some reason, you just pull this strap and it opens. Going to the other side, take the other shaft, do this tug up, okay, then I'll take the trace on this side, run it through its carrier strap, and attach it to my safety shackle, quick release. And come around the other side. Take this trace. Run it through the carrier strap. The safety shackle. There. Then the overgirth is adjusted so that the shafts don't bump up in the air. Then I'll take my breeching, the hold back strap, bring that through your loop on the shaft. This I know adjusts, adjusts by wrapping it once. Buckle that. Go to the other side, attach my breeching on this side, and then I'm ready to come around. Pick my reins up. put my gloves on. Even though Abby is holding the horse, I still want to make sure I've got control of the reins also. Then I'll pick up a little contact. Step into the carriage. And your horse needs to stand still during this process and not fidget. Sit on the end of my reins, pick up my whip, and then if I'm ready to walk off, I'll say, Abby, thank you, you can unhook her, and Ren, walk on.